Hi friends, this is Dipti and welcome to Life Admin 365 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm sharing with you 5 delicious savory waffles that my family and I enjoy eating any time of the day, be it breakfast, snack, lunch or dinner. So let's get started. First one is waffled railway cutlets. Railway cutlets were one of the most exciting part of Indian train travels. Be it a three hour journey from Mumbai to Pune or one of those long summer vacation tours. And here is my take on railway cutlets. I have half a cup of finely cut up French beans, one third cup of cut carrots, one third cup green peas, one tablespoon beetroot powder, five garlic cloves crushed, two inch ginger root grated, four cut up green chilies, half a teaspoon salt, one four teaspoon black pepper, half a tablespoon garam masala, one four teaspoon red chili powder, four whole wheat bread slices processed as crumbs, about two tablespoons of all purpose flour if needed for dusting, oil for cooking and for oiling the waffle plates, 4 medium potatoes, boiled and peeled, 1 4th cup cilantro and juice from 1 lemon. Place pan on medium heat and add 3 tablespoons oil to it. When hot, add crushed ginger garlic and saute till fragrant. Add cut up veggies and saute thoroughly. Add salt, garam masala, red chilli powder and black pepper. Saute for a minute or so. Add chopped green chilies, top cilantro and boiled and peeled potatoes. Mash potatoes along with veggies and spices in the pan until well combined. Then add powdered beetroot and blend it well with potato and spice mixture. I use beetroot powder but if you want you can use a medium sized beetroot as well. Just peel the beetroot and shred it and saute it along with the other veggies. Add in half of the freshly prepared breadcrumbs and mix them well with the mixture. Scoop out the mixture using a medium sized ice cream scoop or simply divide equally into 6 portions by hand. Start preheating the waffle iron to high. Take each portion and dip it in the remaining portion of the breadcrumbs and press to form half inch thick patties. Spray and brush oil on hot waffle plates. Place one of the breadcrumb coated patty on the bottom plate of the waffle iron and gently press it down with fingertips. Lower the top plate over the patty and press it gently. Cook it until crispy about 6 to 7 minutes. Remove the crispy waffled cutlet from the iron and repeat the process for the remaining cutlets. Serve these hot with tomato ketchup and mint chutney. Enjoy! The next waffle on the list is Masala Zucchini Waffle. To 5 cups of water, add half a cup of short grain rice, 2 cups of split yellow moong dal and mix the two in water. Cover and soak for at least 4 hours or overnight. During this time, grate zucchini and salt it. After about an hour or so, wring out the water and store the shredded rummed out zucchini in refrigerator until ready to use. Once the dal and rice are fully soaked, it's time to grind them along with the spices. To a blender, add in soaked rice, dal, 2 inch peeled ginger, 6 green chilies, half a cup cilantro, both stems and the leaves and lastly salt per taste. Using minimum amount of water, Grind to form a smooth batter. I used anywhere between half a cup and 3 fourth cups of water for grinding. Measure out 2 cups of grated zucchini and add it to a medium bowl. To this, add half of the batter, saving the other half for making dhokla. Thoroughly mix the batter with grated zucchini. Then add in 1 fourth cup of rice flour and 1 fourth cup of chickpea flour. Thoroughly mix in the flours with the batter. In this time, Start preheating the waffle iron. When the waffle iron is ready to go, add in half a tablespoon of baking soda to the batter and pour one tablespoon of lemon juice over it. Thoroughly mix in the baking soda and lemon juice with the batter. Go back to the waffle iron. Spray it with oil and brush it in. Ladle in the batter over the hot iron and lower the top plate over it. Cook for about four to five minutes or until the batter is completely cooked. Remove the zucchini waffle from iron and repeat the process for the remaining batter. Serve these hot with creamy coconut chutney. The next one and one of my favorite is waffled falafel. Here I have half a cup of cilantro. Typically I use one fourth cup flat leaf parsley and one fourth cup cilantro but today I didn't have parsley so instead I used half a cup of cilantro. One third cup of roasted sesame seeds, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon red chili powder, salt per taste, one fourth teaspoon cinnamon powder, 
1 8 teaspoon clove powder, 1 4 teaspoon black pepper powder, 1 tablespoon lemon juice, 2 tablespoons cumin coriander powder and lastly the star ingredient drained to 15 ounce cans of chickpeas or garbanzo beans. To a food processor add chickpeas, cilantro, sesame seeds, cumin coriander powder, garlic powder, red chilli powder, salt and other spices and lastly lemon juice. Blend to get a uniform but somewhat coarse paste. Transfer the paste to a bowl and to it add half a tablespoon baking soda and one fourth cup of rice flour. You can replace rice flour with a couple of eggs if you don't have rice flour. In that time, start to preheat the waffle iron. Spray it with oil and brush it in. Ladle in batter over the hot iron and lower the top plate over it. Cook for about 8 to 9 minutes or until the batter is completely cooked. Remove the crisp waffle from the iron and repeat the process for the remaining batter. Serve this with cucumber mint tomato salad along with garlicky yogurt tahini dip. Enjoy! The next one is very simple and easy sabudana waffle. All ingredients are the same as that of sabudana khitri. I am using 3 cups of fully soaked sabudana or tapioca pulse, half a cup roasted and crushed peanuts, salt per taste, chopped cilantro, 4 chopped green chilies, 1 tablespoon cumin seeds and 2 medium sized boiled and peeled potatoes. Add boiled and peeled potatoes to a bowl and mash it with a handheld masher. Add in salt, cumin seeds, cilantro, chopped green chilies, lemon juice and crushed peanuts. Mash and combine the ingredients in the bowl to get a uniform sticky blend. Add soaked sabudana and thoroughly mix it with the mashed up potato mixture. Divide the mixture equally. This mixture should yield about 7 to 8 portions depending on how big you make them. Grease the heated waffle with butter. Moistening your hands, form sabudana balls into a patty. Place each patty on the hot lower plate and press it lightly. Lightly butter the top of the patty. Lower the upper plate and press it gently and cook for about 6 to 7 minutes. Remove sabudana waffle from the iron and repeat the process for the remaining sabudana patties. Serve these hot with coconut green chilli chutney. Enjoy! And last but not least are the onion bhajia waffles. Along with onions, I did add grated carrots just to make it a little bit more nutritious. But you don't have to add it or instead of carrots you can add zucchini or add a combination of carrots and zucchini to this mixture to make it even more nutritious. I have already shared this recipe in an earlier video. Sharing that video link in the description box below and in the card above. So do check that video for details. And that's you all guys. There are so many different varieties of waffles that you can make and so many things can be turned into waffle and maybe that deserves another video. But for now, that's it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like this video, do give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, do subscribe to my channel. Your likes, your share and subscription helps with the YouTube algorithm and helps me grow my channel. See you all in the next one.